everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this cardigan you will need a weight 4 yarn and a 6mm crochet hook. Don't forget I'll have the free written pattern on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So you're going to begin by making a chain of 53 for small, 57 for medium, 61 for large, 65 for extra large, 69 for 2XL, 73 for 3XL, 77 for 4XL and 81 for 5XL. Then we're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And then we're going to double crochet into every chain all the way to the very end. At the end of that row, chain three, this will count as our first double crochet. Then we're going to turn our work. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet into this first post here. Then we're going to do a back post double crochet into the next. So we're going to repeat that by alternating a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet all the way to the very end. When you reach the end, you're going to place your last double crochet on top of that chain three. So just make a regular double crochet on top of that chain three. Next, we're going to chain three and then we're going to turn our work. Don't forget that chain three counts as our first double crochet. So next, we're going to do a back post double crochet. Then we're going to make a front post double crochet and we're going to alternate that between a back post double crochet and a front post double crochet all the way across until you reach the end. Your last stitch will be on top of that chain three and that will be a regular double crochet. So for your next row, chain three and then turn your work. That chain three counts as your first double crochet. So skip that first space and then work a double crochet into the next. And then make a double crochet into every stitch all the way across to the very end. At the end of that row, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. We're going to make a single crochet into that very first space. And then we're going to make a single crochet into every stitch all the way across. So the next row is row one of our pattern. At the end of this row, chain up three and then turn your work. We're going to skip that very sp first space because that chain three counts as your first double crochet. So we're going to work into the next stitch and make a double crochet. And then into the next stitch, we're going to make one more double crochet. So all together now you have three double crochet. So next we're going to make a stitch I like to call the front post double crochet two together. And we're going to do that two rows down. So if you count four double crochets in, that's the fourth post in, we're going to work around that post. So yarn over your hook, 
put your yarn, put your hook around that four, that fourth post in, pull your yarn through, and make sure and pull your yarn up. Then yarn over, and then go around that post again. Pull your yarn through. You have five loops on your hook. So yarn over, and then you're going to pull through the first four loops. So now you have two loops on your hook. So yarn over and pull through those two loops. So next, if you look behind that stitch that we just did, we're going to miss that single crochet. So miss the single crochet directly behind that post that we did and move on to the next. And then we're going to make three double crochets. So we're going to do that stitch again, that front post, double crochet two together. So if you look where your last post is and count the fourth double crochet away from that post. So wrap your hook around it, pull your yarn through, yarn over, go around that post again, pull your yarn through, you five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first four, and then yarn over and pull through two. We're going to miss the single crochet directly behind that, move on to the next stitch, and then we're going to make three double crochets. So you're going to repeat that all the way across to the very end. So here we are at the end. I have four single crochets left. I've just done my last three. I've just done three double crochets. So count four double crochets over from your last front post. And then make your front post double crochet two together. We're going to skip that single crochet directly behind that stitch. Just right there, and then we're going to make three double crochets. At the end of this row, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. We're going to make our first single crochet into that very first space and then we're going to make a single crochet into every stitch all the way across. At the end of that row we're going to chain three and then turn our work. We're going to count the second post in and we're going to do our front post double crochet two together around that second post in. Now 
we're going to skip the single crochet directly behind that just make sure that you don't mix it up for the stitch that your chain three is coming out of so miss the set the next single crochet and then move on to the next and make three double crochets So to find out where we're going to put our next front post double crochet two together, we're going to look at these two posts from the previous row. And you'll see that there's three double crochets in between that. And we're going to wrap our hook around the middle double crochet. So do your front post double crochet two together around that middle double crochet. Don't forget, we always miss that single crochet directly behind and then move on to the next and then make three double crochet. So you're going to repeat that process again. You're going to look for your two front posts from two rows down. Look for the three double crochets in between then we're going to wrap our hook around the middle double crochet. So do your front post double crochet two together around that middle double crochet. We're going to skip the single crochet directly behind, move on to the next and then do three double crochet. So repeat that pattern all the way across until you reach the end. Here we are at the end. We only have two single crochets left. So wrap our hook around the second post in and do your front post double crochet two together. Skip the single crochet directly behind that and then work your last double crochet into the last single crochet. So next we're going to chain one, turn our work. We're going to single crochet into that very first space. And then we're going to single crochet into every stitch all the way across. So you're going to repeat those four rows over and over again until you're happy with the length of your cardigan. Um, you're going to measure from your shoulder to wherever you want the cardigan to stop. So make whatever number of rows you need for that length. But just make sure that the last row you do is the, the very first row of the pattern, row one of the pattern. So once you have your length, you should have something that looks like this. You've made, you've just finished row one of the pattern. So you don't fasten off. We're going to start our front panel now. So next we're going to chain one and then turn our work. And we're going to work 25 single crochet for small and medium, 29 for large and extra large, 33 for 2XL and 3XL, and 37 for 4XL and 5XL. At the end, we're going to chain up three and then turn our work. Then we're going to make two double crochet. Then we're going to look at the two posts that are a few rows down. Look for the three double crochets in between those posts and then find that middle double crochet and do our front post double crochet two together around that middle double crochet. Now 
We're going to skip that single crochet directly behind that front post, work into the next and make a double crochet and then make two more double crochets. So you've made three double crochets. So you're going to repeat that again. You're going to find your two front posts from a few rows down, find your three double crochets in between, then get that middle double crochet and around that middle double crochet, you're going to do your front post double crochet two together. You're going to skip the single crochet directly behind, move on to the next and then make three double crochets. So repeat that all the way across to the very end. So you're going to repeat the exact same pattern as you had for your back panel until this front panel is the same length as your back panel. Just make sure that the last row you do for your front panel is not a single crochet row. So once your front panel is the same length as your back panel, that's of course minus in the ribbon part that you did at the start of your back panel, so we're going to chain up three. This counts as your first double crochet. So skip that very first space, work into the next and make a double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet into every stitch all the way across. At the end of that row, chain three and then turn your work. That chain three counts as your first double crochet. So next we're going to do a front post double crochet around the next double crochet. Into the next stitch, we're going to do a back post double crochet. And you're going to repeat that alternating between a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet all the way across until you reach the end. Your last stitch is going to be a regular double crochet on top of your chain three. And then at the end of this row, we're going to chain up three and we're going to repeat this row again. And then we're going to fasten off. So this is what you should have now. You have your back panel with your one of your front panels coming out. So whatever number of stitches you had for your other front panel, count that number in and attach your yarn to that stitch. We're going to pull our yarn through and then chain up one. Then we're going to make our first single crochet into that same stitch. And then we're going to single crochet into every stitch all the way across. At the end of that row, chain up three, turn your work, and then do your front post double crochet two together around that second post in. We're going to skip the single crochet directly behind that post then move into the next stitch and make a double crochet and then make two more double crochet. Then you're going to make your front post double crochet two together and you're just going to repeat the same pattern you have been doing all along. Keep going until your front panel is the same length as the other panel and then do the ribbing. So next we're going to move on to our sleeves. So we're going to chain 33 for small, 37 for medium, 41 for large, 45 for extra large, 49 for 2XL, 53 for 3XL and 57 for 4XL and 5XL. We're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and then we're going to double crochet into every chain all the way across. Thank you. 
At the end of the row, chain up three and then turn your work. Chain three counts as your first double crochet. So work into the next stitch and make a double crochet and then a double crochet into the next stitch. So you've made three double crochets. Then around the next double crochet, we're going to do our front post double crochet two together. We're going to skip the single the double crochet right behind that post, then work a double crochet into the next and then a double crochet into the next two stitches. So you're going to repeat that around the next double crochet, you're going to do your front post double crochet two together. Skip the double crochet directly behind that and then make three double crochet. So you're going to repeat that all the way across until you reach the end. At the end of this row, we're going to chain up one, then turn your work, make a single crochet into that very first stitch, and then single crochet into every stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, we're going to chain up three, and then turn your work. We're going to do our front post double crochet two together, around the second post in that second double crochet in we're going to skip that stitch directly behind and then we're going to work three double crochet We're going to look at these two front posts a couple of rows down, then look for the three double crochet in between, wrap our hook around the middle double crochet, that stitch there, and we're going to do our front post double crochet two together around that post. We're going to skip the single crochet directly behind and then work into the next and make three double crochets. So you're going to repeat that all the way across to the end of your row. Then you're going to keep repeating this pattern. It's the same pattern you had for the back panel and your two front panels. So keep repeating that pattern until you have the length of sleeve you want. Make sure that the last row you do is a single crochet row. I wanted my sleeves to be three quarter lengths. So I made my sleeve 12 or 13 inches long. So once you have your length, you're going to fasten off. So this is what your sleeve should look like. You're going to make a second sleeve as well, fasten off and then put to one side. So next you're going to grab the main body of your cardigan and lay that down, the textured side facing down. And where you've started the first row of your front panel, you're going to place a stitch marker there. Then you're going to grab a sleeve 
Make sure that the bobbles are facing up the way. Fold your sleeve in half just to find your center stitch. Grab that center stitch and then attach to your stitch marker. And then we're going to single crochet across. Then you're going to repeat that for the other sleeve. Then fold your top over and then single crochet up along the sides. Then you're going to turn your cardigan right side out so that the textured side is facing us. Attach your yarn here and then we're going to double crochet all the way around. So here I am attaching my yarn. We're going to pull our yarn through and then chain three. And then we're going to make our double crochets up along. There isn't going to be any definitive stitches. You're just going to make your own judgment and place a double crochet where you can. So keep going with your double crochets all the way around until you reach the other side. So once you reach the other end, we're going to chain up three and then we're going to do a front post double crochet. And then we're going to do a back post double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that. We're going to alternate between front post double crochets and back post double crochets all the way around until we, we reach the other side. And then we're going to repeat this row a further two more times. And once you have that done, we're going to fasten off and then weave in our ends. And that's it, your cardigan is now finished. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, I'll have the free written pattern on my blog, crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.